there was a, a wave happening in the late 90s, people like Def Jux and Stone's Throw, that were making a sound that owed everything to hip hop, but didn't use lyricism, didn't have dance as a central component, didn't have graffiti. It was just its own insular ergot. That sound, that, that possibility started to resonate with more and more people, myself included, where you could make something that was dynamic, but didn't, didn't need all that veneer of language. And so it painted these broad pictures. You have DJ Shadows introducing, you have Portishead, you have all these bands that were kind of seeing the fuzzy edges of this thing. And then it just took a series of producers, largely in LA, but also from elsewhere, to start painting in bolder strokes and really experimenting and making a weirdness that I feel so proud of being part of. My stage name is Doorman Mike because I started working the door at Beat Cinema and um, I just took on more and more responsibility and started learning how to DJ and make music and work my way up to managing it and playing shows and doing different things with it. I started doing this maybe around 2010. I was right there with it, growing and being a part of it and especially with Beat Cinema. Um, I really got to see the original sounds of what this beat scene was in LA grow from more like sample heavy to dubstep to trap to almost like juke or bounce that is kind of what's uh, popular now. So I've, I'm happy that I've been able to see the progression of it. also offshoot of LA Underground rap scene, but I book rappers and I book bands and people who do live beats every third Tuesday. So, you know, it's all like the same thing. Um, I forgot where I was going, but yeah, my name is Verbs and um, yeah, you're at Bananas Beat Cinema, thing I'm a dude, and it, it's tight. Yeah. So, um, Beat Cinema, we do our uh, visual showcase along with the producer showcase, so we just throw a lot of shows around the area. Um, we do an annual beat battle, we do the podcast. Um, on SoundCloud, so just a lot of different avenues to present new music and producers that we like to people in different contexts. For me, making music, it's a sense of freedom, liberation, and also community, which is what I've learned so much about the Los Angeles beat scene. I knew a lot of people on the internet before I moved here, and when I moved here, I just walked right into this wonderful, inclusive scene, and for the first time, I found my people. And so it means, it means a lot to me. I just like to have a good time. Shout outs to anyone who's out there doing it. If you're putting your shit out or not, just you gotta keep doing this shit. It matters, it matters a lot right now with the way that the world is turning. It matters a lot to show some resistance and this is one way of doing that. So make something, it doesn't have to be music. Make some shit. Don't just work and sleep and play video games. So we're at the precipice of a beautiful expanse as we exit a culture that we've lived in for the past hundred years called recorded music and we're moving toward an immersive experience. This is the time that we decide what we're going to embrace and what we're gonna move forward with. This is the moment that we, as a culture, as a microculture of the beat scene and the macroculture of just the way we consume are gonna decide what is important to us. And I would implore you to remember that our sensory being is really temporary and what we choose to do with it is of the utmost importance. So please just be cognizant of your decisions as everything asks and asks 
and we give and give seemingly freely, but that is actually the most costly thing. And so we, we have this moment to decide what we're going to be. And just, just be aware that your decision is of super importance. You there now is the most important thing in your life and, and maybe mine too. So thank you and, and make a good decision with it.